Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. My name is Ben, and I am so glad that you are here today. It is Friday of Ordinary Time, proper nine in the church calendar. Making our way through the year by telling the story of the Lord. If you have a prayer request, we'd love to pray for you. BenWardMusic.com slash prayer request. Thank you for your support. If you'd like an ad-free version of the podcast, you can get that as a thank you with a monthly contribution of any amount. BenWardMusic.com slash donate. Thank you. Wideness in God's mercy, like the wideness of the sea. There is kindness in God's justice, which is more than liberty. There is welcome for the sinner, and more grace is for the good. There is mercy with the Savior. Is healing in his blood. How wide, how high, how vast, everlasting enough. We'll never reach the border, expanding like the universe. The heart of holy order, mercy, kindness, overwhelming love. For the love of God is broader than the measure of our mind. The heart of the eternal is most wonderfully kind. If our love was but more simple, we should rest upon God's word. And our lives would be illumined by the presence of our Lord. How Like the universe, it's the heart of holy order, mercy, kindness, overwhelming love. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. By what we have said and by what we have left unsaid. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. The love of God is broader than the measure of our mind. And the heart of the eternal is most wonderfully kind. There is welcome for the sinner, and more grace is for the good. There is mercy with the Savior. There is healing in His blood. How wide, how high, how vast, everlasting enough. We'll never reach the border, expanding 
like the universe It's the heart of holy order Mercy, kindness, overwhelming love Overwhelming love Thank you for your overwhelming love You overwhelm us with your goodness and your kindness and your mercy and your compassion. Your attention, God. Who are we that you are mindful of us, Lord? But you are. You are mindful of us and our ways and our hearts and our desires. grateful today, Lord. We are grateful for the wideness in your mercy, like the wideness of the sea, the kindness in your justice, which is more than liberty. And if our love were but more simple, we should rest upon God's word lives would be illumined by the presence of our Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 16, one of my favorites. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope, for you will not abandon me to the grave nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17. Hear my plea of innocence, O Lord. Give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer, which does not come from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Weigh my heart, summon me by night. Melt me down, you will find no impurity in me. I give no offense with my mouth as others do. I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast to the ways of your law. In your paths my feet shall not stumble. I call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me your marvelous loving kindness. O Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who assault me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed their heart to pity, and their mouth speaks proud things. They press me hard, now they surround me, watching how they may cast me to the ground. Like a lion greedy for its prey, and like a young lion lurking in secret places, Arise, O Lord, confront them and bring them down. Deliver me from the wicked by your sword. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand from those whose portion in life is this world. 
whose bellies you fill with your treasure, who are well supplied with children and leave their wealth to their little ones. But at my vindication, I shall see your face. When I awake, I shall be satisfied beholding your likeness. When I wake up and I see Lord, when I wake up, when I'm asleep, I shall be satisfied, I shall be satisfied, I shall be satisfied. You shall be satisfied mm. Mm. Glory to the Father And to the Son And to the Holy Spirit it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. gospel reading is Matthew 24, 15 through 31. Jesus said to his disciples, when you see the desolating sacrilege standing in the holy place, as was spoken of by the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. The one on the housetop must not go down to take what is in the house. The one who is in the field must not turn back to get a coat. Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath, for at that time there will be great suffering, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now, no, and never will be. And if those days had not been cut short, no one would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Messiah, or there he is, do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and produce great signs and omens to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Take note, I have told you beforehand. So if they say to you, look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the suffering of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Word of the Lord, thanks be to God. This is the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. 
He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. It is Friday of Ordinary Time, proper nine in the church calendar. In our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively. O oh God, you have taught us to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbor. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit, that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart and united to one another with pure affection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. There's a wideness in God's mercy Like the wideness of the sea There's a kindness in God's justice Which is more than liberty Let's take a time of free prayer Where you can just sit in the presence of the Lord Whatever you're doing, driving, walking Exercising, just listening. You can also intercede for those in your life, praying specifically and by name for them and their needs and your own heart. Whatever burdens that you have, lay them down now. He is calling you, even in these moments, open your ears and hear Him. He loves you. Lord, I just want to pray today for all those who have children who've wandered away, whether it just be their relationship, or whether it be into a life of addiction or sin or destructive behavior. God, I just pray that you would bring those children home, no matter their age, no matter how old they are, no matter how far gone the situation seems that you would bring the children home, that you would bring reconciliation and peace, as only you can do, God, as only you can do, Jesus, as only you can do, Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. How The heart of holy order, mercy, kindness, overwhelming love. 
Then by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. You are surrounded. You are loved. You are cared for. You are fought for. Thank you for your support. BenwardMusic.com slash donate. Let's pray together again on Monday. Bye-bye.